it's too late now And in my arms, would you rather be out? You take the words right out of my mouth And go switch your life, what you talking about? It sucks, I thought Yo, you were hello? It's Povikos from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the Vortex text. If you want to elevate your editing skills, then make sure to check out our Editing Visuals website and watch other tutorials on our channel. Let's begin. First, we need to make our Vortex background. The background is very similar to the black hole text that I did not that while ago. Let's make a text. I'll just call it Want This. Let's center it here, position it to the middle of your video. Now, let's start adding the effects. I'll add a stretch frame edges. I'll make the center squeeze 0.5. I'll add Deep Glow. I'll add S Warp Vortex on top of deep glow. This is very important. We have this vortex effect right now. Go to character, press on swap fill and stroke. You don't need to add this, but I'm going to add an overlay from Revy's TV glitch overlay pack. I'm going to add the TV glitch overlay 5. At the start, I'll press T and I'll make the opacity 0. Right click on the layer, go to blending mode and make it add. A nice amount of frames forward and I'll make the opacity 30. I also, don't forget to keyframe it here. The opacity. So look, this is sort of like a glitchy. Now I'm gonna go back to the star here. Going to go to the background layer. Press S and here I'll make it one. I'll keyframe it. Press C, I'll make the opacity 11% and I'll keyframe it. I'll go like 15 frames forward. I'll make the opacity 100%. Now I'm gonna go almost to the ending of the whole clip and I'm gonna press S. I'll make the scale 128. Go to the whole ending of the clip right here and I will make the scale 200%. Select all of these keyframes, press F9 and I'll go to the graph editor. Make the graph this point go up, this one go left, this one like that. Now I'll go out of the graph, press on this button right here. Let's make a text. I'll call it vortex. I'll select it and I'll unpress this button. While making this effect, you will probably start to see your computer lag very much and it's because of this. For now, I'm just gonna close so we don't need it right now. Center this. First effect, I will add liquify. So here we get this tool. And now we can just start to mess around a little bit. So I can extend this maybe like here, maybe this like here. You can extend wherever you want just to give that vibe that it's getting pulled out. At the start, keyframe the distortion percentage and I'll set it to zero. Now I'll go somewhere to like the middle of the clip and I'll set the distortion percentage to 50%. Add deep glow. Change the radius to 750. Add CC vignette. Angle of view 42. Add hue saturation. Master saturation 95. Add curves. Set one point like right here and one point like right here. Make this go a little down and go a little up. Add CC lens. Make the size 334. And convergence minus 200. Let's add grid. Make the side for width and height sliders. Anchor to 360. And this one 240. Make the width 4. The height 4. And make the border 1. We'll go to color. Make it dark. And make the blending mode hard light. Add Gaussian blur. Click on repeat edge pick and make the blurriness 3, add mosaic, make horizontal blocks 350, and vertical blocks also 330, and check the sharp colors. Now let's add wave warp, make the wave height 5, wave width 20, direction 0, change the wave type to noise, add CC Y time, make forward steps 2, and backward steps 2, and native motion blur on, add posterize time, and make the frame rate 12, add signal, at uni heat wave and we've made the text so let's go back to the start press s keyframe scale and make it one now i'm gonna go somewhere to the middle i'll make the scale 124 press u bring the liquefied distortion percentage right here select both of the scale keyframes press f9 now i'm gonna go to the graph editor extend this point up and this one to the side now get out of there and motion blur by pressing this now we can cut this side now i'm going to add a free overlay this overlay will be linked in the description i don't know who's the original creator but i saw that it was free i'll scale this up then i will add s edge detect edge smooth zero and i'll go here and go to blending mode and make it add also i think we can scale up even more this is pretty good copy and paste this in a lot of the parts of the clip so for example in this part i have set some markers i'm just gonna copy and paste this i'm just gonna add this keep copy and pasting it as you can see i'm adding it below the text and i will also work on the text later on now i'm going to add some glitches so i'm gonna go somewhere a little further from the start press Control alt y I will cut it up a little bit. I'll leave like four frames or something. Add S invert. Then I will add CC vignette. Make the amount 160. Add S flicker. Add transform. Keyframe the scale value and the positioning value. 
I have made it to 200. Move one frame forward. This position 218. Press U. Keyframe the scale so it just stays the same there. Here I have made the position to 1228. And this one to 949. I scale it up a little bit so like 210 here. The last effect I will add ETT damage TV. With this you can just start copy and pasting it. And you can copy and paste it on wherever the beats of your video are. I remember I pasted it somewhere here. I'm gonna paste it somewhere else there. I also recommend pasting it on the last frame of your video. And I will only make it one frame so I'll cut it. the ending part. We can make this really cool lens effect. I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to come to the layer below it. Press on it twice and I'm gonna go here. I'm going to make this to dark. I will add the CC lens. Go to the ending of the clip. I will keyframe the size and I'll make the size 89. Press S. I'll go back here. I'm going to actually make this 150. Now I'm going to come back to the first text that's on top of it. And I'll also press S. Go somewhere to the ending. So it's about to end right here. I'll just make it like 128. And I'll go to the full ending of the clip. And here I'll set it to 100. Now go to the graph editor of the scale. Point this to the right. Point this a little down. Something like that. Now go back to the low text layer. And go to the start of it. Press U. The CC lens 2 to 50. Now we're basically done here. Now we can just go back to the background. If you want to have your vortex background. Just turn it back on. And now we have our vortex text. We can add a couple of adjustments. Just to make it look a little cooler. So press Ctrl Alt Y. Make sure it's on top of everything. Add CC the net. I'll keyframe the amount. And I'll make the amount 50. I will also add S flicker. I will go to the ending of the clip. Press U. The CC vignette amount 180. Press Ctrl Alt Y again. You can add motion tile. You can set the output height for somewhere from 80 to 90, like 5. I think I'm gonna set like 92 here. And you won't be able to see the edges anymore like that. Another thing I like to do is go to one of these overlays right here. And I like to delete the S edge detect. And then I go here. I right click and I go to blending mode. I sometimes make it to different. It looks very cool here. So we can also change it to here. And if you want to make this even cooler then I recommend rendering it once you have rendered your video so it won't lag for you as much we can now start to transform it we recently released a magnificent Halloween pack and I will show you by using the pack how you can make the text look even cooler so you can press ctrl alt y you can test out many of these effects I sometimes like using Halloween effect 4 but this is definitely not even the best one what I will show you is probably my favorite one you can add Halloween effect well and you will get this crazy glowy look now it might not look that understandable but that's why you can can cut out the adjustment layer and make this into a one frame glitch and you can add plenty of these one frames to spice it up so much and I will show you a couple of more overlays that I think are really viable for this text here I will add Halloween effect 16 I know that you don't see the text again you can use this to make crazy one glitch so one frame can be the effect and the other one can be the normal clip I would also recommend adding other Halloween effects sometimes you don't even need to make them into one frames it can just be for the whole video you can try to delete some of the effects from the Halloween effects and see how it works. If sometimes the clip doesn't work, it could be because of the glow or some other effects. So just try to delete some effects and maybe it will start working. It's all about experimenting here. Also, these effects work very well on other texts, not just the vortex text. Definitely make sure to check out the editing pack. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Remember that some of these settings might not work because of the length of your text that you chose, or maybe you scaled it up or something, or you chose some different colors. I really recommend checking out our new Halloween pack because we will post more tutorials using some of these Halloween effects. Alright, have a fun and productive day. See ya.